Yo, what up? We back. CT's RPT, Real Prison Talk with Wes. Um, I know every episode I apologize for the same thing, but again, I apologize for not being able to put these videos out as much as I would like to. The work schedule does not allow me the freedom that I had before I got this job, obviously. It's a gift and a curse, you know. But today what I want to do, I have so many subscribers that holler at me and they hit me up like, yo, Wes, what's up with this? Wes, what's up with that? And I promise you, I'm going to get to every last one of y'all. So with that being said, you want to get to my subscriber, I'm not going to put a name out there. I made that mistake before. A lot of people don't really like it when you put their name in the street. You know what I mean? So, we ain't going to put the young lady's name out there. But, she says, Hi, Wes. Love your YouTube channel. I wanted to ask, is it true that inmates will often trade the pictures they receive from women? I have a pen pal who is on death row, and I want to send him a picture, but a little worried that he will use it as currency within the prison, if you know what I mean. Don't feel obliged to respond, but I thought I'd try my luck. Um, that's funny, because, yeah, pictures of females is a good currency in prison. We trade them. I, myself... A lot of guys use them for self-pleasure. I mean, I guess if you got a hell of imagination, you can take a still photo and make magic happen. I wasn't one of those guys. I don't even know what the hell. I had over 600 pictures of models, and I would trade them like baseball cards. I never really sold them. I would buy them, trade them, trade them around. It was just something to pass the time. But, yeah, unfortunately, there are pictures that, of females that float around as currency because we're men and we're in jail. We're deprived of females. So, there's models and there's businesses that capitalize off of that. I don't know about other states, but I know that in Connecticut prisons, you're not allowed to have anything showing any penetration you can't show any sexual you're not allowed to have any sexual content so as long as the person has clothes on the picture is acceptable in the doc system the inmate would like the woman to have as least clothes on as possible she has to have clothes on or the picture is not going to get accepted into the doc but the inmate will, will like the woman to have a bikini, scantily clad woman, you know, as least clothes as possible. That's allowed. Um, sometimes what happens, all them pictures that's floating around the jail is not always Instagram models. Sometimes a female might send a dude a picture of herself. And his, her best interest is not at his heart. So, if you're dealing with somebody, you have to know the person you're dealing with. I had a friend of mine, that was like an ongoing joke. I used to always tell her, like, I'm going to sell your pictures. Like, I'm going to sell your pictures. But she, hopefully, she was smart enough to know, like, I ain't like that. What's ain't going to do that? But... Dudes do it, you know. A female might send a dude a picture and he might fall on some hard times. Average picture might go for at least a soup. He fall on some hard times and then that picture had to go. Normally, when dudes get pictures, like the young lady that just asked the question, I don't know how close you are with this man, but normally when dudes get pictures of females that's near and dear to them, they keep them. I bought a whole photo album home of pictures of my friends and family that I keep. 
there's times when y'all might be going through something. You might have made him mad, and that's his way of getting you back because that is that can be considered a form of humiliation. So I could see somebody, I could see woman, I could see a woman not wanting her picture floating around in the prison system just because she had her eyes set on one guy that she wanted to see it. So you got to be careful. I would suggest you know who you're dealing with. And even then, it's still shaky because like I said, you get mad. What type of person is this? Is this the type of person that's going to be like, Oh, you made me mad and now I'm going to go and humiliate you by selling your picture or trading your picture or showing everybody a picture that you disclosed to me in privacy and wanted to keep that way. So it's all on a person because I'm not in the business of showing other dudes pictures of my kid's mom or my girlfriend. I don't, I'm not even in a relationship with my kid's mom. Haven't been in over 10 years. And I mean, the only thing we have in common is we have kids together and we co-parent. But that don't mean I'm going to be in prison showing her picture off to, to dudes, you know what I mean? Because that's just the type of person I am. So it all depends on the type of person you're dealing with. Ah, it's a, it's a risk, you know what I mean? But unfortunately, with that be risk, there's reward, you know what I mean? So you take the risk, you may find a good guy that's going to have your best interest at heart. And you guys take off, everything go beautiful. But just keep in mind, there's that risk that you may find a dude who doesn't think as much of you as he should. And whatever the situation may be, whether it be hunger or anger or whatever his situation may be, is not above showing other men stuff that you would like to keep private only for his eyes. So it's a gamble, and I mean, with that gamble, you just got to know your homework. Do your homework, young ladies. You, If you just met this man, then you probably should not send him any scantily clad pictures as of yet. I'm a former inmate. I just, I, I, I did a bit, so I ain't never going to say don't send a man no pictures. I ain't never going to say don't be there for him. But I'm going to look out for you also, and I'm going to tell you, take your time. Make sure it's genuine. Make sure it's legit. Because it's a lot of phony fixers out there that's running cons in prison. And they just looking for somebody to catch wreck with. They just looking for somebody to spend time with. And unfortunately, this might be a young lady that's looking for love on the other end of that phone. So, if she think that this man loves her, and he tell her to send her a picture, of course, because she loves him. But he doesn't feel that way, so... What the picture means to her is not what it means to you. To him. I'm sorry. To him. And before you send any men any pictures of yourself, make sure that picture means the same to you that it does to him. And on that note, I'm going to bounce. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions, anything you would like for me to answer, anything you would like for me to address... Anything you would like for me to do a top a, to a video on, any topic you want me to do a video on, hit me up here. You can hit me up on my Instagram, wes.smith.129. That's my Instagram, and I promise you I will answer you back. I will do a video on everything that anybody needs to know. It's just work with me. Have a little patience with me. And remember, these these videos that I do, these are all freestyle. They're off the fly. So it ain't like I got this programmed. I'm just reading what you want, and I'm giving it to you real. Coming straight from the rib with it. And on that note, peace.